Hey guys, different video today, slightly shorter one. Just a manoeuvre I've had to do down in London. I've already done the manoeuvre, I'm just filming this now before I roll out on the end of my break. Um, very tight little parking manoeuvre, I put the head camera on so you can see that. So I won't keep rambling on, I'll just say thanks again for watching. Please do me a favour, like and subscribe. Try and get this video to more people. And um, I'll let you get straight on, I'll let you see me squeezing into this gap. And then I'm going to head back home. So thanks again for watching guys, I do appreciate it. I've done my sat nav, I'm going to head on out. Cheers. Approaching the drop now. A bit of a tricky one. I've got to get right across the road to turn in because the entrance way is tight before we go to our final leg like, squeeze. So if I'm a bit quiet, it's someone concentrate mode. I missed this turn before the first time I came up here and I had to do a hell of a manoeuvre to get back in. For my first ever shift. So we're trying to get it right this time. They want to try and drive straight up the bloody inside of you. Super wide. Watch the post. Go through the tree. Right, there you go. See? So you see how tight we would have been on that edge if I'd not gone across the road? So our entrance is over here. But like I said, I'm not going to dive in yet. Got to make sure there's enough room for me to go. This is going to take a few shuffles. There's no way this is going in first time. Ah, right. There's a van there I'm loading, so I can't actually go in yet, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get in while he's still there. Crazy, crazy slow player. If you want to just scoot round the corner, I'll be out your way. Yeah, cheers, pal. Thank you, mate. Fair play to the guy. He clocked me. He's diving straight out the way. It was ridiculous. You know how tight it was, though. I don't know if you can see in the mirror there. Can you see? The corner of my trailer, the way it sort of stuck its nose out. It could be tricky. I see this trailer today is only a double axle on the back. So believe it or not, I've actually got a bit more space. But I've been in here with the triple before. It's mad, but you see my wing mirror is damn near touching the thing. Now we've got to swing my trailer back in to avoid that, but there we go, see? And I say, now this guy's moved, which is awesome. But the annoying thing is, there's a silver focus back there, which is someone from in the shop. And she hasn't moved hers yet. So it's going to end up very blind in a minute, so I've got to... I know I've got more space on this side, so I'm going to try to take a more aggressive angle without going back too far. And then I've got to wait for the cab to swing round. Now you can see now, see I've got a gap there? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to send it back into that gap. I don't care if I'm on an angle, I don't care if I've blocked anyone in. 
just want to get myself in. So there you go. Told you it was tight, didn't I? So, um, do you know what? Am I straight now? That guy was good enough to move for me. I might get out of his way in case he needs to leave. This guy's super helpful. <laughs> he's just waiting till I've got all the way back and stopped moving. I knew he was going to ask me to push the wall, but as soon as I've stopped, he's gone, ooh. They say he's good as gold when it comes to unloading, but when it comes to actually watching you back, you know. People think you're in a car, don't they? I don't want to make the mistake of getting too tight to the bar line because when you drive out it's such a tight turn.